The Sonic series has been around for a really long time, and across these 30 years we've had plenty of gameplay styles. The classic games, the adventure games, the boost games, the shit games. Bounty, bounty. But there is one thing that's pretty consistent about the Sonic series. It's inconsistency. And in this video, we are going to explain just that. So, um, let's go. I did not plan this out. The Sonic series has never had a consistent gameplay style. Sega just keeps flopping in and out of ideas, and sometimes it works, but most of the time it just doesn't. Hello, Sonic fans. So you like Sonic Adventure and Sonic Adventure 2? Ah, uh, yeah, Sega. Those games were fire. So, um, you're gonna make Adventure 3, right? Um, I said you're gonna make Adventure 3, right? Sure. I'm sorry, okay? I don't like Sonic Heroes, sheesh. The problem with games like Sonic Heroes and Shadow the Hedgehog isn't that they were a different gameplay style. It's the fact that they were ROST! I can bet you, if Sonic Heroes had like one and a half more years of development time, I'm sure it would have been one of the best Sonic games ever made. I actually like the idea of a team mechanic. Same goes for Sonic Lost World, they had a perfect gameplay style they've been building up since 2008, and then they just instantly ditched it to appeal to Mario fans, like come on Sega. So um, what about the future of Sonic? So it's been stated that Sonic games are going to be more consistent from now on, and I think this is amazing. I genuinely love some of the stuff that Sonic Frontiers brought into this series. I love the Sonic the Hedgehog franchise with all my heart, and I just want to see it succeed. Alright, so um, thanks for watching today's video, and uh, yeah, if you're new, please subscribe, and I can't wait to see where Sonic goes next, I guess. So um, bye!